Hi Gemini and happy birthday to those of you that have birthdays in June. Happy birthday to you and remember this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs so definitely do check out your other sign readings as well that might really help you and also um, you know you might find additional messages in that as well so yeah, this is your reading for love, June 2020. I hope you are doing well, keeping safe, you know, all that good stuff. Also, if you'd like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. And if you would like to purchase a private paid reading with me, information is also down there as well. And the last thing I want to mention is that my intention bracelets are on Etsy so I'm actually wearing the loved ones and they're meditated with they're sage they're there to remove obstacles and challenges from different areas of your life they are very special in my opinion and if you want to see how other people have seen results with them please do check out the Etsy um, shop link which will be in the description box below and they are shipping worldwide so yeah definitely do check those out if you're interested there's so many different items on there lots of different bracelets crystals necklaces um, jewelry sets but also there's hand embroidered intention cards which you can put under your pillow in your wallet or your purse which are completely hand embroidered by me I just love putting my creativity into things and yeah, so everything is there and let's get started with your reading. Um, my microphone is being a little bit problematic these days, so let's just... Okay, begin. Trip and Wait, love this deck so much. Um, it's definitely one of my favourites when it comes to the love readings. It's so colourful, it's so vibrant, you know, and I just feel such good energy with it as well, so why not? So we've got here... The Queen of Pentacles, we've got the Two of Wands as well. Ooh, there's an arrival here. It's almost like it's a long-awaited arrival of somebody. This is a wish as well. Question is, have have you been at distance from someone whether this is someone you've had your eye on and you've had a crush on someone or whether it's someone that you've really felt a lot towards have you or are you at a distance from this person because what I'm really significantly feeling is that there is this energy of being reunited and meeting up with this person like face to face in June rather than always being at a distance because the two of wands here showcases distance. The queen of pentacles here shows you feeling pretty good in your own energy. It's, it's almost like you're feeling strong, you're feeling confident, you are essentially um, much more self-confident, you have a higher level of self-esteem, which again is amazing to see. Anytime I see that, it makes my heart feel very warm for you because, you know, it's, it's something that I think from time to time we all, we all deal with that. And of course the levels vary from people to people, of course, and we can go through cycles and phases of not feeling so great, but it seems to me like June, you know, even though we've got all of these retrogrades as well, which can at times be very heavy and intense, I do feel that you're going to be feeling much more confident about your own personal energy regardless of what others are doing around you. I think that you're going to have yourself grounded and centered and feeling pretty good about yourself which I think is a very very positive thing. Nine of Cups here shows a wish. I feel like you want to bridge the distance between yourself and love right? You, you want love. I feel like you see love as the destination in your life. Like with love you feel complete. With love everything is just perfect it's like the happily ever, ever after that you're you're after and I will say that the guides here are telling me is that enjoy the journey rather than de the destination the destination will come to you but enjoy the journey and I know sometimes the journey is extremely unenjoyable it's not fun it can be really hard heartbreaking sad you know frustrating but I think that enjoying that part and enjoying yourself in the meantime is just really really important and interestingly enough I think that with many of you that are watching this reading I think that you will take that on board and I think through June you will start to put yourself first a lot more I think that you will take part in things that make you feel good whether that is something so simple as decluttering things in your space whether it is you know doing something nice for you taking care of yourself pampering yourself maybe doing a salt bath or maybe just having a bubble bath or maybe eating or making a recipe, something that's, you know, your favourite, or doing something that maybe you just really enjoy and like and doing it for you. I think that's also quite a significant thing and 
very important because we have to from time to time take care of ourselves so not only are we looking at love love but we're looking at self love too and I think that's also very crucial being that we have the Venus and the Saturn retrogrades which are really about putting ourselves first as well so Knight of Pentacles here shows there's someone that you're going to be meeting face to face it's almost like the the gap is going to be bridged between you and love but what I would say is, you know, at the end of the day, you can do whatever it is that you want, but try not to think of it as a destination. Love is more so a journey, right? It is. It's, it's rather than it being a destination, because even if you get to the destination and you find love, there's still a continu continuation. It's not like, okay, you found, you found love, the end. <laughs> you know, it's like, that's when it really begins as well. So think about it as a journey, a continuous journey, and also yourself as well, you're part of that journey. So we've got here the Six of Swords. See, this is you emotionally taking yourself to a better, better place. This is you taking care of yourself. This is you really looking out for yourself and your own personal emotions. You're on your way to, the, to find the Pot of Gold at the end of the rainbow. But remember, that is also a mirage. You know, if you're constantly sort of chasing after the um, destination, you miss out on a lot of the journey of other things that you see whilst you're trying to get to the end of that rainbow, right? So enjoy also the present time for what it is, especially in June. Page of Cups, see? This person's feelings towards you are getting stronger, whether this is a crush or it's someone you're involved around. Th this person's feelings are getting stronger. Now, those of you that are single, I do feel that there's someone, there's someone that really does think a lot about you. And I feel like, especially with the Mercury retrograde, it's like they're going to come forward and they're going to be like, hey, you know, would you like to talk or maybe even um, grab something? Now, granted, of course, there are lots of countries that have restrictions at the moment, but a lot of these restrictions are also being lifted so long as there's social distancing. So I just want to mention that as well. Um, it really does depend on where you live and things like that. Um, in a lot of countries now, you know, you are free to sort of go here and there and to you know do things with social distancing in June the restrictions get lifted just a little bit more um, they're not perfect but you know you could potentially meet this person face to face is what I'm seeing all right with perhaps a little bit of distance just saying okay but we're also bridging the gap with distance too if that makes sense so there is potential to meet this person but more so there's a lot of potential here to have really strong communication with this person considering we have the mercury retrograde mercury is of course to do with communication and uh, when mercury goes into retrograde expect the unexpected <laughs> that's what i would say temperance see that's really beautiful because you've got these um, two cups here, you've got these two cups here, you've got these two wands. I'm seeing a lot of twos, you've got these two rabbits. Look at that, six of cups. Romance is in the air. Love is in the air, but not just with someone else, also for yourself. I think we should call it love is in the air. Do you know why? Because it is in, in so many more ways than one. We have all the cards. Nine of Wands, this is you thinking, wondering and pondering. This is also about the process and the journey as I was mentioning as well. We've also got here the Page of Pentacles, which I think is also very vital and extremely crucial because it shows again part of the potential and the progress and the growth um, really within yourself as well and just you feeling so much better and so much stronger and also having someone here that has real attraction towards you and I think you're going to get some good communication also here with the Two of Wands and the distance. So whether you are at distance from someone, see... You've got that love heart and you've got the ace of wands here which shows that someone is really attracted to you but this is also you feeling attraction towards yourself it's this mirroring that's happening so what you put into yourself you're also getting in return um interestingly enough six of pentacles see it's the balance right what you are putting in you are also getting back it's that two-way energy that we see here water flows from one cup to another back to the other to the other and to the other to the other <laughs> So that's what we're seeing there. So love seems to be in the air, but not just in regards to someone else finding you very attractive. This is also about you finding yourself attractive, which by the way, that's huge. That's such a heartwarming thing. You know, oftentimes love readings, they, they sort of tend to be about, okay, well, is anyone coming in? You know, does this person find me attractive? Like, what do they think about me? But I guess 
sorry, I just dropped my pen. Um, I guess one of the things that we don't really ever talk about is, you know, you towards yourself. And I think that's really lovely to pick up. Um, so <laughs> there's my pen and it can go right back there. So this is your reading. And if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel. Um, and also check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway and my bracelets, which are on Etsy and do take care.